Hey, I'm Mega. Outside. Wow. This is such a bad idea. Why I want to be outside in the freezing cold without my Game Boy? Bloody fantastic. I've always wanted to see wide Mario above ants. The world may be grand in scope, but your little personal land is always comforting. So why not invade Mario's, held in hand? Super Mario Land is such a lovely little game, being the focus of one of a few posts on my now lost TikTok account. I've had a soft spot for this game since 2019, when I got my Game Boy. The front panel may fall off twice within four years, but I could never reject another 24 sighting. Speaking of sightings, just look at this cartridge. For only £8, it was, and is, in such good condition. The label just looks brand new. While people usually focus on its sequel, Six Golden Coins, or even go on to discuss the Warrior Land series without really going deep into the original Summel, I'd like to take a good look at this classic cartridge, since it's always a must bring whenever I take my Game Boy around. And Tetris, though I'd rather not cover it to then just be compared to a stock dial of Buzz Lightyear toys. I sold mine for 40 quid at age 9, but comparison just wouldn't fit. After a feel good cartridge load, and that satisfying switch, Badink, Super Mario Land, following the only option you need, start! And with a cute little mushroom at that. It also displays your top score, although this will never save after a turn off, so unless you're into those 2024 group land sessions, you'll always beat the top score as soon as you collect a single coin. If you're a lengthy admirer, you'll too soon encounter the game demos, showcasing levels such as 1-1, 1-2, and then 3-3. Free free. It's almost as if the game is calling out for you to play it. It's showcasing how much fun you could be having. Well, I don't stall. Well, except the cart. Of the Mario variety. Such an iconic tune. No wonder it came back in an SMB style retune. It's such a lovely theme, but it's no surprise that a newly 13 year old Unyu would stay up until 5am creating a level involving the power up. Super Mario Land is always iconic, yet rarely getting referenced. While the power-up and music did return in Super Mario Maker 2, Super Mario Land as the original game has only been re-released once on the 3DS Virtual Console. We do now have Game Boy titles and Nintendo Switch Online, although in this timeline, Super Mario Land is missing, only including the sequel, showing yet again how this land is hidden. Maybe the masses are just scared of free. Super Mario Land differs from previous games in terms of its level structure, since instead of a typical four levels per world, with the fourth being a castle level, Super Mario Land only has three levels per world, with only four worlds, totaling to a small 12 levels in the whole game. But despite this, I can never beat it! I can often get pretty far on my journeys, making use of a continue feature if you get over 100,000 points, although the final level is tough. Not that I've gotten into it since 2019 though. Usually 1-2 is underground UNTIL NOW! As a recent SML beta, I've earned this badge. Usually 1-2 is underground too. Although, in classic Summel fashion, this isn't the case here. It's another Sarasaland overworld level. With arched up bun buns, what a cheeky level indeed. But instead of painstakingly covering every single level in the game, unlike a certain 1 and 2 switchy talk, let's go through the unique enemies that you'll encounter while trespassing on Mario's little land. The typical Mario enemies, such as Goombas, Koopas, Piranha Plants and Bullet Bills are in Super Mario Land, 
although in the fashion of this weird little lovely, each have our own twist. Goomb O's are only what you'll encounter in this game, but rather than being their own cereal, they just behave the same as Goombas. Coopers are now bombshelled, meaning stomping on them causes a bomb to start ticking. This was likely done since so early on in Game Boy game development, they probably couldn't figure out how to get kickable shells to work, which is why a few years later with more experience of the hardware, they managed to pull it off. Piranha plants are also similar to Goombos since they behave identical to the original games, although now they can come out of pipes upside down, and they're more brave to Mario since even if he's standing under them, they will come out. Finally, Bullet Biff Blasters can come out of pipes? Showing strong the uniquely weirdness of this game. It's in a very oddly Super Mario Maker-y fashion, despite not being a feature in any version. Over the standards though, Landy Lou has a lot of unique enemies, and due to the minimal level count, many are exclusive to one respective level. A simple scroll of a Mario wiki just goes to show how many unique enemies were created for this game, yet never used again. All the more adding to the odd charm that is the aura from Super Mario Land, the enemies are such a treat if they're not a Moai statue chasing you down. From a spinning, leaping boulder that counts as an enemy, to big fists coming out of pipes, to hopping vampires, to a random guy in a big ship mech? Oh, blimey. Sorry, got a bit too British there. Allow me to unbutter and untoast my breakfast. Super Mario Land continues to throw the unexpected inexplicably at you from all directions with full randomness. It's an experience that you truly can't be prepared for, and that's why I love it ever so much. Despite beating, I'll definitely be returning to the game some more, because, hey, I turned off my Game Boy right after beating it without realising there's a post-game heart mode, just like Super Mario Bros. Although, if you want some cheeky little world select, you'll have to beat the game again in hard mode this time. Although, this allows specific level selection over just the first level of any world after completing the original Mario Bros, so your efforts are handy. Now that I'm a landlord, I can finally give my Game Boy Lens the tender loving treatment it deserves. Let's cut off those buffs, scratches and smudges with the unfamous lasagna seller, Colgate! Rightio, that's much better. Yes, I could have done this when it fell off in 2020, but hey, clean. So as a footnote, I acknowledge that I never finished my Super Mario Land remake inside of Super Mario Maker 2. To show my condolences, I prepared this for you. Please take a look. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah, 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 sorry, 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 yeah.